Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson, and in this video I'm going to go over this new app that just got released for the Mac, and it's called IA Presenter. IA Presenter comes from the creators of IA Writer, which is a very simplistic and minimalistic app that offers a markdown editor for, you know, writing of, you know, all sorts. This is a very minimalistic presentation software uh, that I'm going to review in this video and show you some of my thoughts about this application. I'm going to cover, you know, the pricing, uh, some of my experience using the application. So I'm also going to cover some of the inspiration behind making your presentations for your videos much more professional and engaging. I'm going to show you some of my techniques and then also some of the experts in the field and what they're doing to make their presentations more engaging and just more impactful. And and I'm going to explain, you know, how you can incorporate these kind of skills, these presentation skills into your own uh, videos so that you're getting a more professional and, you know, cinematic look to your videos. So in this video, I'm going to cover the new app that just got released uh, called IA Presenter. I'll give you some of my thoughts and explain to you how you can incorporate some of these techniques. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day. So in this video, I'm going to go through the first thing is the IA Writer, which is the first app that I guess I just want to introduce to explain, you know, what IA Presenter is all about. Then I'm going to talk about Markdown, and then I'm going to talk about the app itself, IA Presenter. And then I'm going to final, uh, give my final thoughts on IA Presenter. I'm also going to cover uh, just some inspiration about some experts in the field in terms of what they're doing with presentations and how to just maybe think about um, presentations from a high level. So I'm going to go, go over that as well. And yeah, I'm going to wrap up with some of my final thoughts. So before I present about IA Presenter, I just want to explain what IA Writer is. And so the creators of IA Presenter are IA Writer uh, creators, and they're IA Labs, uh, actually is their the formal name. And what they what IA Writer is is basically a very minimalistic app. Um, often you're going to find with you know certain word processors, you know such as Microsoft Word, is there's a lot of obviously bells and whistles, and there's a lot of ways that you know you can get distracted by focusing more on, I guess, the look of the text and on the formatting of the text versus the actual core of the writing. The notion is that, you know, you're going to focus on the writing first, but often word processor, processors kind of get it the wrong way. They focus more on the style, I think, first, and they get, they kind of distract sometimes the writer from actually focusing on the writing itself. And so iWriter has been around for many years and it's just a very beautiful app, I would say. It's well-designed. And iPresenter, um, I just want to mention now, is is kind of the, I guess, uh, brother or the sister to iWriter. And it has the same philosophy, I would say, in terms of focusing more on the content of the presentation and less on the style of the presentation. And I think often when, you know, people design slides or design presentations, perhaps they're getting too kind of focused on the look of the slides and on the presentation. Whereas, you know, what you really want to do is tell a story deliver, you know, kind of impactful content that is really going to move, you know, the audience and move, you know, the viewer. And so iPresenter is, I think that's the focus of the app, is to focus more on creating the content for the presentation and on focusing on what you want to say and less on just designing, you know, good looking slides, right? But in this video, I'm also going to cover some of the inspiration. And I guess I just want to highlight three types of inspiration that will help you maybe with your videos uh, and how you kind of create certain slides for your videos. And so the three kind of inspirations. So the first inspiration is what's called how to visualize value and it's a course that I just started taking and in this course it's by Jack Butcher and he uh, is popularized I would say a certain way to present and he's worked with uh, many different advertising agencies and with many different uh, leading brands and his course walks you through you know I think a lot of different elements in terms of presenting and just different style elements that you want to include, I think, when um, providing, you know, your presentation. And he also often will use quotes and different inspirational quotes to come up with, you know, just a very succinct and a very simple kind of message and but use visuals in order to convey that um, that meaning or that value. So I think it's a great course to get you thinking outside of just simply, you know, writing text on a slide, which is often 
what a lot of people will do, but he gets you to focus more on, you know, what are some of the, you know, one or two ideas that you want to convey using visuals and also using words, right? And the second inspiration I want to present to you is the Present to Succeed, which is a conference that they put on, I think, quite regularly. And they looked into just different uh, ways to present and ways to convey your slides. And so I checked that out and um, I'll leave that um, a link in the description so that you can uh, check it out for yourself. And so a third inspiration is by a, um, a woman by Katya Kuvalenko. Uh, and she uh, has some training programs on Domestica, um, which is a training program that you can take online. And she offers just certain kinds of ideas in terms of how to present your slides using Keynote. And I just like her style and the way that she kind of formats and walks you through how to think about, you know, just designing your presentations. And so I actually created a video uh, highlighting some of one of her training programs. So I'll leave that link as well in the description so you can check it out um, and just give you some tips about how to think about designing your pre uh, presentations using Keynote. So why would you want to use iPresenter over, let's say, PowerPoint or Keynote? Um, I definitely am a user of Keynote and I think it's a really great app, uh, especially for design. I often will use it in my videos uh, to animate just simple text. I find that once I step out of uh, my NLE, you know, in this case Final Cut, and I use just, um, you know, Keynote and the presentation software, I'm able to focus more on just, you know, some of the messaging on the text that I want to convey in my video. And then just a different way, I guess, of, of looking at the video and helps me kind of um, maybe get outside of the video a little bit and just split up the tasks as well. So I will often like to use Keynote um, as my way to present uh, data in my videos. Uh, but I just started, uh, I just downloaded the iPresenter app, uh, I, again, by the, the creators of iWriter. And I'm excited about, you know, starting to use this app because I think what it, it will allow me to do is is starting to think more about the story and on you know what are the simple or the, the key messages and takeaways that I want to convey in my presentations. And so again, what it uses is it uses Markdown. So you're able to um, uh, create the slides using Markdown. So when you have, let's say, a main header, like your uh, header one, it's gonna be, you know, the writing is often gonna be bold and then the biggest header, right? And then, you know, vice versa, when you go down to the second header and the third header, they're gonna be smaller text and, but allows you to organize your writing in, in those kind of key kind of distinctions. And then with just the normal text in the presentation software, this is what you're going to use as your script later on when you present, right? So it doesn't actually show up in the content of the slides, but rather just simple text in the presentation software in iPresenter will uh, convey to you, you know, your script and, or your, um, you know, so that you're focused on what you want to convey in your writing and not reading off your slides or just, um, you know, because I think that's the kind of traditional or typical way that people will present is they'll maybe put a lot of content on the slide. And, but the notion is that often the audience will start kind of getting distracted by the slide and start reading the slides and will focus less on the presenter. And at the end of the day, you know, I think the purpose of obviously uh, visuals, like creating a video or a tutorial or just any kind of message you want to get across when if you're selling something like a service or a product, right? I think it's getting down to key concepts and key kind of um, messages you want to get across, right? And I find that if you're too distracted by too much content or there's too much noise in the way you're presenting, I think your audience or your viewers are going to likely be confused as well and might not um, get that message that you want delivered to them uh, as succinctly, right? So by focusing again on the content using iPresenter, I think that's the way to think about it in terms of using Markdown to focus more on the content of the slides and less on formatting the slides. But as I'm starting to look at iPresenter, I'm you know noticing just the different things that you can do with the software. And I think though for this video, I'm going to just uh, keep it shorter. I will go in depth more if people want about how to use iPresenter. But in this video, I just want to give you a bit of maybe a high level overview of iPresenter. So iPresenter is they're offering for, I guess this is in Canadian, right? But 
uh, $5 Canadian, uh, $50 a month, um, or sorry, yearly, and or one-time purchase of $100. I, I guess in American, that would probably be closer to 80 or 75, right? You can, you know, get a subscription or you can buy it straight out. I'm going to explore this app more, go in more depth, and I will probably offer a video and explore more to you, the viewer, you know, ways that uh, I'm using the iPresenter app and kind of report back to you guys about, you know, what I think about the app. But I think this video hopefully inspires you to think more kind of clearly about using presentations in your videos and just give you some ideas about and some tips about how you can improve, you know, the presentation uh, in your videos so that you're offering a more professional and a more cinematic look. So in this video, I covered uh, three inspirations uh, that you can help with your presentations. I also uh, went over Markdown, what Markdown means and uh, you know what type of language it is and how it can help you focus on your messages and on your story. I also focused on iPresenter and just give you an overview of that app. So hopefully you like this video. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.